Hello and welcome to the Crypto Tester channel. In this video, I'm showing you how to interact with a smart contract using a standard blockchain explorer, in particular. I will show you step by step how to mint an NFT on Polygon using Polygon Scan. Please refer to the links in the description for the smart contract address and other resources mentioned in the video. As you can see in this Reddit post, I announced that I was going to republish, as a backup, the entire collection of videos from the Celsius Network YouTube channel, which was originally shared by an anonymous user via BitTorrent. I downloaded 86 GB of files and I re-uploaded them in several parts on IPFS as an NFT collection, using the NFT storage free service. Now, let's go back to the smart contract page and notice in the contract section a green checkmark. This means that the contract was verified and the source code is public for anyone to see, download, and verify. If you scroll down you will notice various files. It's often like this when code was reused and imported by existing libraries, rather than copied and pasted all in one single file. The main file in this case is the first one at the top, called celsiusnetworkvideos.soul. Now, let's go to the read section and select the base URI, you can copy and paste it in a new tab. You will see all the JSON files containing the metadata of the NFTs. Let's click the first one. You can see title, description, YouTube URL, and more interestingly, the external URL, which is the video uploaded on IPFS. You can copy, paste it in a new tab and your browser should start playing it. The image attribute contains the thumbnail of the video which is what you will see when browsing the collection in an NFT marketplace. What's important in order to mint an NFT is to get the price, search for price and find it at number 11. It is a big number because it is represented in way. To get the price in Matic, copy and paste the big number in a calculator and divide it by 10 to the power of 18. You will get 0 0.2. To mint, because you are writing something in the blockchain, you must click on write contract. Click on Connect to Web3 and go on with Wallet Connect or with MetaMask. Search for the single word Public Mint and find the method at number 10. Notice that if you paste the big number in the payable amount and proceed, it won't work. So, in the payable amount insert 0.2 and use 1 for the quantity. Then click on Write and check what MetaMask is showing you. Don't worry, you can still reject if unsure, and nothing will happen. Try another test and use a different amount. For example, 0.5 if you feel generous and want to send some extra cash as a tip. Click on Write, MetaMask will show you a red box that something is wrong. Let's go to check why. Click on Reject and go back to the contract code. Find for the public mint function and notice a require condition that will stop the execution if the payable value sent is not exactly the price multiplied by the quantity. No cheating and no tips allowed, it must be the exact amount. Go back, and this time use 0.2 for the payable amount and try again. This time confirm and wait a bit for the confirmation. Congratulations, you minted your NFT using a block explorer instead of using a minting website. Let's go back to the read contract section and scroll down an example until, owner of, you can type the token ID, click on query and see the owner, in this case it's you, but if you are curious to see who is the owner of a particular token, you can just insert a different number and query again. Scroll down and find token URI, type the token ID and query again. This shows you the link to the JSON file containing the metadata of the NFT. You can copy and paste it in a new tab to see its contents. You can also check that the mint count property was updated. In this case from 0 it increased to 1. The next token ID will be the number 2. Many NFT projects don't offer a way for the users to see the NFTs that they just minted until the collection is listed on a secondary market. TofuNFT.com allows users to see any NFT in their wallet, including unverified ones. In the top menu, select the Polygon blockchain. Connect your wallet, then click on My NFTs. You can see the NFT that you just minted. Click on it to see its details. Notice that the collection is unverified, this is because it was not submitted to the marketplace. You can see the description, like in the original YouTube video. The attributes contain upload date, duration in minutes and size in megabytes of the video. Go over the thumbnail and click on the three dots, then click on open external URL, this will start the video in a new tab, 
Notice that the video is hosted on IPFS. I hope that this video helped you to learn a bit how NFTs work and how to interact with a contract using a blockchain explorer. If you enjoyed watching it, also, if this generated voice was okay to listen, please subscribe, give it a like and see you in the next video.